Howdy, howdy, everybody. Welcome back. Back at Stray. Uh, Death Stranding, if you will. It's the first Stray-type game. Uh, we're just gonna see what's out here, other than this carpet that I can probably tear up. Nope. Okay, so we're looking for more notebooks. I know, that's all I know. And there's some sweet... Oh, that was a nice leap. Ooh, geode of sorts. Yeah, screw all this shit. Yeah, break the... I'm the, I'm the man of the house now. Whoever lived here is dead, I'm pretty sure. So we can go in here. So somewhere there's going to be a notebook. I guess you need to find that notebook. Ooh, there's a... Oh, and there's a notebook. I found 404. I must have... Must have jumped a little. It's the same logo as the one moment ago. What's... This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Like, um, like from Walking Dead. I always scroll up, up. Everything is going to plan. Manic to contact the upper level below the right of the window. There is a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Bobo earlier, his eyes. I noticed, look, he will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Oh, there's still so much to look at. Look at this guy. Look, oh, computer dude. What do I do now? Oh, I can climb the books. Can I go up on the books? Nope, can't go up on the books. Whatever. Buy books. Oh, a bed with some laundry on it. Why do robots? Why are the robots like clothed? I don't quite understand that. Uh, what are you gonna, are you gonna do? Uh, so there's probably just more. Um. Hello. Yeah, it's probably just more places with the symbol on it, right? I think I saw one before and I was talking to that guy. Yeah, over there is another one of the symbols. You try over there, I guess. It's like, I like that it's kind of giving you your own space to think about it. It's pretty cool. So this should be somewhere new. Let's take a look in here. It's like a nice little library area. Ooh, there's a good... Oh, that's a Gravity Falls reference, right? That's cute. I like that. Oh, this guy is dead. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human, volume 42. Oh, that was a book. Oh, uh, well, I mean... He's dead. <laughs> oh, I still sound just as awful as before. I really thought the sheet music would help, but, uh... Can wake him up? Is he awake now? Nope, he's just dead. Uh, it's very sad day to be that guy. What's up here? Something's up here. Oh! Oh, I can... Oh. <laughs> Dude, they give you so many just lovely little images. Oh, I can hear him sleeping. Oh, it's so sweet. Wow. Oh, I love it. Alright, but well, is there another notebook? That's the main reason we're here, right? Trying to find another one of those ding dang notebooks. Maybe yeah, there's one at the top of this bookcase. Oh, I guess. Oh, there's a safe. Oh, I have to use an item? I figured there'd be like a code or something. I can just punch in randomly. Okay, so there's gonna be no. Maybe there's gonna be a notebook in that safe or something. So we need to find a key. Some sort of code. So it's October 11th. Someone updated his calendar because the other calendar was also October 11th. Find the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Oh, no. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books, just a librarian. Uh, good job, that guy, I guess, for being a legend. Whip. And the safe is here. And we'll use the keys. Is there a notebook? Take Doc's notebook. There we go, we found it. Let's go. Nice work, another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, fuck, I have to go up. I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp, but at least we should be able to capable of warding off the Zerks in our on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. 
There's plenty of the notebooks. There's only one more, you dits. I mean, other notebooks. There's only one more notebook. I'm a legend and a gamer, and I'm finding them like clockwork. Alright, so there should be one more area around here with a symbol like that. Somewhere. Let's just go find it, I guess. Maybe it's along here. Let's go along here. Can I jump on that? No, we can jump down here, though. We can knock over all these pots. Yeah. Hello, friend. Oh my god, you're terrifying. You're like a Discord admin. Hector. Aren't you? You look weird and small, but there's something about you. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't, because I don't understand why. No one plays an instrument? You're a robot. It'd be the easiest thing to do. Why don't you just do it? There's got to be another one of those symbols somewhere. I assume it would still be pretty high up. I don't imagine them just shooting one down here. Oh, but you never know. Let's just go down and look, I guess. I'm not assuming okay, Kitty doesn't want to go down. But he also doesn't want to go that way, so I don't... Make up your mind! Come on, make up your mind! Down. 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 It doesn't like that I went down here. What's this? Elliot Programming. What's the, what was the last guy's name? Uh, this is a Baltar. Okay, so none of that. None of those are Zabalti's place, so I guess we can just go away. We just gotta find another symbol. Hello, stranger. You did look good as a craft more at least. That was cute. Uh, those things chew metal and they're terrifying. Okay, cool. Well, they also chew flesh, so. You know, you're, I'm not alone. At least I'm not alone. Sensei Wu, I can't find the last one. Maybe we we can't go back up. Probably up there. I'm just too stupid to have found it. Hop. And a hop and a skip and uh Way we go. Okay, so now we're up here. Oh, there it is. I must have already been here. This feels like the place I would have already been to. Except I don't know how to get in, so I must not have been here. So there's gotta be a way. Maybe from the roof. Oh, maybe I can block the fan. I could totally block the fan with something. Can I pick up one of these? There should be some. Oh, wait, I can just take that off. Now I can go in. All right, well that works too. In we go to the Baltar's lair. All right. <gasps> water, delicious water. Looks like they knew they knew they have a visitor. Oh yes, drink up, buddy. Yeah, drink up. All right, good stuff. Box. Pop. Okay, so what else is here? Obviously, there's gonna be a notebook somewhere, but I need to find that. Cute. Oh, I can fuck up the curtains. Yes. Oh, I can wheel them down. Oh, look at that. That's right. There's a guy down there. No, oh, it's just a symbol. I don't think I wanted to leave that building just yet, but I don't think I can get back up. Yeah, I definitely was not supposed to. I can remember. I can remember this picture of a guy. C14. Companions have evolved so much. In the other days, a simple AI merely imitated human art. Now there's all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate decisions, situations. <laughs> These are certainly desperate times. Aww. Yeah. Sorry, I got freaking beat was dropped when I wanted to wanted to kinda go with it. But I don't know how to do that. We need to get back up top. We did not want to come down here. So we have to get back up to that window somehow. Here we go, we can go up here. Yeah, because we definitely did not want to leave. We didn't find the notebook yet. Okay, so where would the notebook be? Oh, there's no, oh wait. It's just in, it's just under there. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Zabaltazar. Perhaps voices of organic life have disappeared except for what we call Zerks. 
I think they almost are missing that booze and breeze at a considerable rate as if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Oh, you also see Nate this book. Says I found a design flaw on the transceiver, but I think I've figured it out and fix it. Here's the equation. Should be able to help Momo. Oh, we can get his TV! We can go get his TV! We can fix Momo's TV, it's the best! This is all I wanted to do. We really gotta go, back up! Okay, we have to go, we have to go out the, the way, we want, way we left the first time. Go, go, go! We gotta fix this TV. We're coming, Momo! This way, quick! I don't remember where his house is. It was somewhere this way, I'm sure. It was the one with the orange neon. It's up there! We gotta go! Quickly! We're almost there, Momo! We're coming! We're gonna fix your television! Televisian. Buddy, we found it! We got the thing you need! Hey, little cat, are you looking for those new notebooks still? We have the note. That's about this notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. You idiot, we have the... We know how to fix the thing. On the dock, he was really huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. Wait, aren't you found all my friend's notebooks? Yeah, in like 10 minutes. You really didn't try. What's that note? Trans either can be repaired? That's incredible. I should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine Zabalta's ah, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted that cause. I promise you. I'll find a way to reach the service. I might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this, no, let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Yeah, let's fix the thing. Let's go. Oh, got you. Yeah. Look at him. Fixing montage. Oh. Et voila. It works. Is that how you say that? I always thought it was just and voila. I never knew it was et voila. <laughs> Come with me. Sure. Yeah, I'll come over. Where after I claw up your carpet again, it looks like you got it out the first time. Oh, you gonna give me a treat? Up there, see that building? High above the others? If you saw the transceiver at the very top of the tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. Alright, cool. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, a little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Okay. Wee! I don't know what. Oh, the freaking crane up there? Or the building. Um. Well, let's. Start small, I guess. Do we want to take this? Yeah, sure, why not? Wee! Oh, I love him. I love him so much. Let's go, little man. Rooftops. Alright, we definitely made it somewhere. Like, so we have to get up there. So if we can climb along this, which we can't do, so I guess. Oh, there's so many Zergs. Or Zergs. Zoidbergs. Well, hello there. Wait, it said meow to, to get them away. Oh, dear lord. Oh, wait, no, this is fine, because now we can just. You can juke them. What a bunch of idiots. What fools. Oh, dear lord. Oh dear lord. Oh dear lord. Uh oh. We 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 didn't get we didn't get the right way. We're supposed to go up, right? Go! Where's me? Fool. Morons. <gasps> paint. Not go for the paint. Aye. Alright, um I, st I still don't entirely know where we're going, but there's some more Zergs. So if we lure them over. And then we jump up here. We know what we're doing. We know how to play the game. We understand the videos. The videos of gaming. Hiya! And then from here we go right back down. <laughs> and then we go up there. Too easy. Look at this. I totally know where we're going from here. Oh, sorry. We have to remember something. Hold on. He's remembering. The city is full of neon. It wasn't, it wasn't always that way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums, where people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up a rainbow lamps, neon signs out over the house. The person was taken away and never seen again. People saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes, and there was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see color again, like on the outside. I'll take it out. Cool, good for them. Let's, um... 
climb this or something? I don't I don't get why we're up here. Is it just for the lore? Do we have to go back down now? I get to go back down now. Oh no, we go up here. Ooh, look at that, it, it swiveled. Uh Okay. Oh we can keep it going, there we go. Keep the momentum train rolling. Can I go in this one? I can. Okay, so where do I want to go? I need to go up there. I guess I need to go up there. I don't quite get the reason we're doing this. Ah, so we can get up there and it swings and we can go up here. Ah! Makes perfect sense. Is there another cat? No. What's the sound? I want to find more cat. Maybe it's just the Zerks imitating me. Maybe they're smarter than I think they are. Anyway, whee! What is that, another computer thing? Oh, Jesus, you alright, buddy? Hack the door? Okay, I thought it was going to be a mini game. But... Hey, what happened? Oh, dear lord, we're going to let him in. Why are we letting him in? Why did we do this? Oh, so we can. I see. Oh, my goodness! What the hell? Oh, my god! Oh, my god! Uh, I got an achievement called Catapult, not sure why. Oh my goodness. Okay, so wait, so what was the, what's the whole point of this? Why would we do that? We need to get... Oh, so we want to get them all in this, I think. Hack the door, damn it! No, he's on me! No! I don't understand. <laughs> Just wheel it. Just crush him. Just spam left out and crush him. Now run! Run, little man, run! Did we actually crush him with the barrel? Cool, I didn't know we could do that. Oh my goodness, that was... That was a brutal one. I have no idea what I was supposed to do, but I, I figured it out through sheer force and will. Brute strength and all that nonsense. Let's go! Walking along the Christmas tree. Oh, I love him so much. How you doing, buddy? No. Oh, this, this is great. Uh. Now what? Barrel. Oh, pfft. Okay, um, don't think I'm supposed to be here. There we go. Oh, now we can kick. Oh, no more. I could just jump back down. Good job, Mr. Good job, Mr. Kitty. I'm proud of you. You really know what you're doing. You really know your stuff. Hop, and a hop, and a push. There we go. Look at us. Mastering the powers of moving. We got this. Going in. Oh, I do not like the look of this place. I, do, I really don't like how fleshy everything is. Hop over. Come on, vault defense, kitty. We don't need this. Ah, we're gonna vault defense. Oh my goodness. Okay. So you want to get there, I guess. So let's go. Hop. Just run through them. It's like a, it's like a quarterback. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> quarterback method worked fucking flawlessly. You know, you, you risk getting sacked, but at the same time, you have a nice wide open stretch. You know, it's not wide open at all, but they do it anyway for some reason. And I see now, I see why now. It worked fucking effortlessly. Are there more up here? No, perfect. We've, we've evaded all the evil bastards. How does a... I assume I can remember. Remember! Remembering! Remembering! We're remembering! Sorry, I was checking something. Necrocorp. They're responsible for waste management. 
It's trash from the upper levels overloaded with the slums and tried to develop b b bacteria to dissolve it. After all the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating away more than trash. And now we have this earth. Oh, let's go. So they're supposed to be trash eating monsters. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, with that lore, I guess we could end this episode off. I don't know when it auto saved. So we're gonna do at least one more of these in this sitting. And then we're gonna call it there. But this is fucking awesome. I really like this game. So thank you all for tuning in for episode, I don't even know what one this is for, maybe. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, y'all. Bye now.